हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज नास एंड आई वेलकम टू यू इन माय चैनल नास पाठशाला सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी एंड थ्रू दिस इंग्लिश स्टोरी यू विल लर्न टेंसेस वोकैबुलरी प्रोनाउंसिएशन एंड हाउ टू डू परफेक्ट रीडिंग सो विदाउट Chapter Seven, Dreaming During Summer. It was summer, and the Mar sister enjoyed going out for walks, rowing on the river, and collecting flowers. On the other hand, Laurie had constructed a letter box out of a broken birdhouse and placed it near the fence between the two houses. It was of great use to all the people, and Beth used to work as a postmistress. giving out mails to people in her neighborhood throw that letter box only one day jo got an invite to a picnic at long meadow with lorry his friends and mr brock everyone was invited from the marsh family for croquet and lunch all of them very quite excited to go to the picnic Meg decided to wear a cotton dress and asked Beth to choose her clothes as well. But Beth was too sure if she should go, as she was bashful about meeting so many boys at the picnic. Beth was comfortable with Laurie and Mr. Brock, so Meg promised that she would care of her, and she too it that nobody bothers her. The sun rose. and it was a picnic day everyone woke up with happy thoughts waiting for the picnic to start after they packed and prepared what all was needed for the picnic they were constantly keeping their ears open for what was happening at the lorian's house beth reported that the carriers full of people had arrived and finally it was time to go As they were leaving, Meg noticed Joe wearing a hat that was meant for a boy. She told Joe to remove it, but Joe was adamant and said she didn't care about people and would keep wearing that hat for the rest of the day. Joe led the group of her sisters quite confidently and reached the place where the people were waiting for them. They were introduced and greeted by Lori. and his friends then they went to the river and sat in the boats to go across the river to long meadow joe and lorry sat in one boat and mr brook and ned moffet took another one all sat in the boat and they were off for picnic everyone could notice that lorry and joe were really good friends who enjoyed each other companies joe even called lorry by his pet name teddy Everyone was amused after seeing Joe's funny hat and one of Laurie oldest guests from England Kate Wog was surprised after she met Joe and wondered at how she went about her things Mr Brown said facing Meg who was observing his gentle and polite manners and considered him as a learned man She knew that she was also looking at her in a watchful manner. So she grew concise and behaved well in front of him, keeping in mind his silent yet all-knowing ways. It did not take too long to reach their destination, and as they landed on the shore, a game of croquet was suggested by Lori. Then it was lunch time. Amidst the freshness of nature, where ants butterflies caterpillars all joined in the feast that was laid out for the people everyone ate with delight and at the end what remained were the overturned cups and plates after everyone had their lunch mr brook sat on the grass and started reading a book kate started sketching on her sketch pad meg sat alone looking at them and then kate turned to meg and asked if she went to school to which meg replied that she was a governess kate's face revealed 
that she didn't really like makes answer mr brook also noticed kate reaction and informed that american ladies were quite different from english lady as they were known for supporting their family and earning by being independent kate was not still convinced and in her mind looked down upon ladies who had to go outside their homes to work she found it quite odd and thought that lori should keep her distance from such people though she maintained a calm face when kate was gone meg spoke that it slipped from her mind that english ladies like kate didn't think of governess in a good way mr brock could understand what meg said and told her that in england it was not really good for tutors as well so he was planning to join army after lorry went to college meg added that it would be hard for the lorian's family to let go with him and she even said that she and her family would also miss him after he would be gone the rest of the picnic went well and then the vacation finally came to an end after a few days when all the girls and lorry were sitting together lorry said these days when i sleep i see many dreams but there is one which i really like let's tell each other our favorite dreams but on one condition you will have to tell so lorry reveal his dream my heart's wish to roam the world and after i have seen everything then go to germany and be a famous musician then it was meg's turn but she was hesitate at first but finally gave in my dreams is to live in a big house full of money and expensive things jo interrupted her don't you want a good husband and children in your house or just money meg got irritable jo are you really saying this one who doesn't care about anything in the world other than your books ink and pen stands you are right meg i want to write books and become a famous author jo replied with a smile beth added for me to take care of my family home and of course my music is important so i will be happy if i get all this then everyone turned to emmy to know what she dreamed about emmy said my passion is drawing so i would want to go to rome and be an artist spending my life painting and sketching in some days it was my time for lori to join college as per his grandfather's wishes sometimes he used to be unhappy about it and wanted to relax and do whatever he wanted jo asked everyone that they all should wait for 10 years and she whether or not anyone could achieve their dreams the idea seemed great and everyone agreed to be a part of this plan for watching if you like my videos please hit the bell icon for more updating videos like share comment and subscribe my channel nasparshala thank you take care and be safe at home